At the beginning of the 20th century, a man toured the world, with a magic show, that required, eight train cars, to carry 40 tons equipment, and a team of moreover than 12 stage assistants. His name was, Howard Thurston. Born in Columbus in 1869, he had a bad childhood, and he left his family to ran away. He started to sold newspapers and racing forms, traveling from city to city, on freight trains and making small scams. He experienced his life-changing event, when he went to see a performance given by Alexander Herman, the greatest magician of that time. Fascinated by the magic of that great Herman, young Thurston decided that he would become a magician. He made his first appearance on stage with the Sells Brothers Circus, and he was attracted by card magic. After he met, James William Elliot, he learned card slights and manipulations, being able to produce playing cards from his hands. In 1898, he put on stage a card trick that fooled, Leon Herman, the nephew of Alexander Herman, who offered money to purchase the secret. From 1900 to 1905, Thurston toured the Europe, entertaining rules like King Edward VII, the Emperor of Germany, the Tsar of Russia and Theodore Roosevelt. In 1905, he arrived in India, giving his performances in huge tents, and astonishing the natives with feats of magic, that surpassed the fabled wonders, of that land of mystery. In May 1908, at Ford's Opera House, in Baltimore, the famous illusionist Harry Keller, announced Thurston, as his successor. Howard Thurston was one of the greatest magicians of the past century. In his three-hour show, The Wonder Show of the Universe, he presented some of the best illusions ever made in the history of magic. One of them was called the Princess of Karnak. In the illusion, Tarson's assistant was lying on a bed, and with the magical gesture of the magician, the woman start to float in midair, and then rise to the top of the theater, and vanished in front of the audience view. The levitation was an illusion invented by John Neville Maskelyne, a magician and the manager of the Egyptian Hall of London, a palace of mystery where the most strange illusions, exhibitions, automatas and uh, moving pictures were staged. One evening, during a show of Maskelyne, the leading American magician Harry Keller decided to steal the secret of that amazing illusion. After a few years, Harry Keller presented his expensive versions of the levitation, the Princess of Karnak. When he decided to retire himself from the stage, he permitted Thurston to introduce the illusion in his show of wonders. Howard Thurston was not only a good magician, he was a great storyteller, because the plot he built around his illusions, around the uh, mystery of the Princess of Karnak, were so strong that he made them the real masterpieces, such as any other illusions or tricks that he performed on stage. For example, the spirit painting, where a blank canvas mysteriously painted itself with the image chosen by the spectators. I think that Howard Thurston was, like other magicians, a sort of marketing man, because he found the right way to promote himself. He was an illusionist, he was a magician, he was a conjurer, he was a, a, a manipulator, but he was not a superhero like Harry Houdini, for example. So that to promote a magic show was very difficult. Thurston's finest pieces of advertising includes not only posters, but custom-made tokens, booklets. 
and dream interpretation books. But his most famous promotional props were, his throwing cards, custom printed playing cards, with publicity photos, and advertising, that he threw with the impressive skill to the audience, and kept as souvenirs of Thurston's show. Thurston's career, lasted for 28 years, during which, he had turned a talented vaudeville act, into a magic show never seen before. 